What are poppers? Yeah, what are poppers? They're like anal nitrates or rush. They sell them now in sex shops, but they last about three minutes and you do it. And uh, it makes your heart go like that. It makes you, well, for sex, it makes you more aroused, but in real life, it just makes you laugh and feel crazy. But it just make you aroused for three minutes? Yeah. So it's a real It's quickie. a poor man's Viagra. So it's a real but, but in real life, yeah. if you're not with sex, it just makes you like, it's like sniffing glue or something. It's a real low high, but it's fun. But All you can hope for is modestly to be a happy neurotic, which I am. Nobody changes. You, people tell you their no, stories. They do. They I'll, just I'll, open up to you. I mean, and they don't even know what no, they're they risking. I'll, I'll be sitting on a train, pur purposely reading, and a woman will look at me and say, my entire family fucked me in the Easter basket on Easter morning. I'm sorry to hear that, um, but but, they continue but I after do that. understand. I, I do want to hear her story, and and people do tell me anything, and I think it's because they think that I will try to understand, and I will. I, I'm very against people that just judge people instantly, no matter how terrible their behavior, because you wonder what caused this. You know, I, I grew up Catholic, where they, the worst thing they ever told me was original sin that a baby was born guilty. What a mean, vile thing to say. Um, you know, a baby is born totally innocent, and what happens to that baby is everything. Thing, society, everything, but it, you know, I don't believe in the real bad seed. I don't believe that happens. You've got to give your children um, time to be to be creatively insane when they're young, and and let them play, let them be neurotic, let them do every weird thing that they want to play, and then they grow up to not do it in real life. If you don't let them do it, then they're doing it when they're 40. It's much more of a problem. Johnny Mathis makes everybody want to make out. So mainstream, so popular, so unironic yet perfect. So maybe they should have him in the convention and, and Republicans and Democrats would make out. Everybody would make out. And then everybody stopped fighting and it wouldn't matter about politics because everybody would just be French kissing for hours and have chap lips and it would be really exciting. But I believe if you are a necrophiliac, you get a job in a funeral parlor. And I think the bidding starts out. Anna Nicole's here. You got 36 hours, and the bidding starts at $100,000. But you, you're also quite interested in the way in which you will be buried and the fact that you should be buried I want a closed, closed coffin. Yeah. Oh, my but, God. But, I mean, but why closed? Well, why? they'll get my mustache on wrong. Right. I can't have that. People like looking over at when you're dead. It's hard enough now to get your picture taken in your 60s, much less than a coffin.